we have a tough looking integral here. Integral from 0 to infinity of square root of x times e to the power of negative 6 root of x dx. An expression under the integral is a product of two functions, the power function and the exponential function. A similar structure is under the integral of gamma function. Here we also have a power function multiplied by the exponential function. Also, the limits of integration are the same here and there. We have zero and infinity. So it seems that we may succeed transforming the given integral into gamma function. Basically, the only thing that's different between these two integrals is the power standing next to the ex exponent. Here in gamma function we have simply negative x, and the given integral has negative 6 root of x, so we should do something about that. And I suggest a substitution. We can denote 6 root of x as d. And so we'll have x equals d to the 6 and dx equals 6t to the 5th dt. The limits of integration remain the same, so we're also going to have 0 and infinity. And so we'll obtain the following integral. Integral from 0 to infinity of square root of x, which is transformed into t cubed, times e to the power of negative t, times 6 times t to the fifth dt. We can pull 6 out front, and therefore we'll have 6 times the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the eighth times e to negative t dt. And this integral looks like gamma function. So according to the formula, p minus 1, the power standing next to the variable, equals 8, and so d equals 9. And we obtain 6 multiplied by gamma of 9. We also know that the gamma function of an integer is equal to an integer reduced by 1 factorial. Applying that formula, we obtain 6 multiplied by 8 factorial.